everyone, blessed to be here with my week five weigh-in, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. Right now, I feel like kind of a zombie. Um, I went to my meeting today. The meeting starts at 8.30. You weigh in from 8 to 8.30, but the meeting starts at 8.30, and so I just got home a while ago, but the reason that I feel like a zombie and the reason that I'm tired is because I had a bout of insomnia. I think it was like maybe from... 2 o'clock, yeah, I don't know, I went to bed a little after 11, kind of, I don't know, sometime after 11, and then I woke up at 2 o'clock to go to the bathroom, I mean, I usually wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, and I woke up at 2, came back in my room, and then I just couldn't get to sleep again, so <laughs> I've been up since 2, been on like, I don't know, what have, what have I been on, the usual YouTube, oh, now the new thing, Instagram, thanks to Someone in, or in my comments, 100 pounds challenge, something like that. Uh, you, if you're watching, it's your fault. I'm on Instagram now. <laughs> but no, since you mentioned Instagram, I'm going to now just start trying to post on Instagram. So anyone who wants to follow me on Instagram, I'm the same on there as I am everywhere else. Bless me. That's it. Bless me here. Bless me on Instagram. Bless me on Twitter. I'm not very creative. And <laughs> bless me just seems to be easy to put everywhere. Okay. So... Back to the week five weigh-in. Okay, so you guys remember, recap time. <laughs> you guys remember last week I was down, I think, five point. Let me look at the book. Last week I was down 5.4. Remember, that came after, uh, after that week where I gained like three pounds and was very devastated. Slightly devastated. Very devastated. Whatever. I was devastated. <laughs> So, you know, last week when I had that 5.4 pound weight loss, I was I was excited, but to be honest, I was a little scared because I'm always like, hmm, this is too good to be true. Hmm, my body's going to trick me. Hmm, my body's going to do something that I don't want it to do. <laughs> so, yeah, that was last week. Now, this week, before I tell you what I weighed, oh my gosh, guys, I, I killed, I stumped, I trumped. <laughs> my fit points okay with Weight Watchers they want you to they give you a fit points um, target you know so that you can keep moving and the target that they gave me is 28 fit points well this week I earned a whopping I think it was 58 fit points yeah 58 fit points I was like working out like crazy um some day, I think it was two days I got 10,000 steps in, one day I got like 13,000 steps. And a lot of people get 10,000 steps in a day, but when I get 10,000 steps in a day, that's just counting my actual exercise. I don't wear my fitness band when I'm just walking around the house or grocery shopping or doing other things like that. I literally only put the fitness band on when I'm like moving, exercising. Walking with Leslie Sansom, my favorite. <laughs> So yeah, I pretty much walked uh, to the Leslie Sansom videos all week, and um, yeah, oh, and as far as what I ate, I ate normally, I'm sorry, now I'm going to have to start, you know, uh, taking more pictures of my food if I'm going to share stuff on Instagram and stuff, but um, this week I didn't eat anything out of the ordinary, like anything extra healthier, you know, I try to eat as well as possible, but I think I just, you know, had the usual salads and maybe uh, I think a meat and salad for dinner and a regular breakfast consisting of eggs and something else. But um, as far as staying within my weekly allow or weekly, sorry, daily points, I actually didn't stay within my daily points. I actually uh, went over my daily points a couple of days. So that went into my weekly allowance point points and I actually ate all of my allowance points and I ate, oh my gosh, my stomach is growling. Okay, I'm, I think I'm hungry now. Um, I actually ate some of my fit points, which I try not, I did not want to. I'm like, Shima, what are you doing? Don't eat your fit, that's, can't you just stay within your daily points and your weekly allowance? Can't you just do that? Apparently I can't, so no, I ate my fit points too this week, but I think I probably did that because, man, I worked out like crazy. I was probably super hungry. I just try to listen to my body, and I think my body was telling me, eat some more. And and I kid you not, guys, when I eat more, it's not like I'm eating junk. I'm not, I'm not like a cake, sweet, freak type person. Okay, I have some snacks and all, but I don't like crave those things. So when I ate 
more it's usually it's like extra like food like an extra piece of meat or i said this for extra piece of cheese or something like that but anyway i ate more food this week and let's see what the scale had to say about that so oh my gosh i hear someone outside my door that must be my mom mother be quiet please i'm filming <laughs> okay so Oh, parents just love their kids. Okay, I know. And I'm like 32. Oh my gosh, living with my mom. Anyway, <laughs> no shame, no shame. So last week I weighed 229 pounds and this week I weigh 226.6 pounds. So that means I lost 2.4 for the week. Yes, I lost 2.4 guys. I'm happy. I would have been happy with one one pound, but I, oh my gosh, 2.4. I'm excited because, did I just spit over here? <laughs> I'm excited because I was expecting my body to do something tricky with me because last week was a huge weight loss and I expected, since last week was a, was a huge weight loss, that something like my body wouldn't want to move this week or my body wouldn't, you know, make me lose that much. But 2.4, guys, and um, now, I'm looking at this, and my Weight Watchers leader put that I'm 7.8 pounds down total since starting, and that's, if you do the math, that's not correct. It's, I believe I'm like 6.4 pounds down since starting Weight Watchers on July 18th, so yeah, um, something like that. I'm over, well, anyway, I received my 5-pound star today because I'm over 5 pounds, so Let's just say I'm 6.4 pounds down since starting Weight Watchers. I'm excited, guys. I weigh 226.6 pounds, and it feels good. I mean, I was out of the 30s last week, but it feels really good that I'm moving further down the 20s. I can't wait until I'm in the teens. When I'm in the teens, I'm going to really celebrate because I feel like when I'm in the teens, that's just giving me, you know, getting me closer and closer to... 200 and then I can drop into the hundreds and then I'm just looking forward to it. La la la. I'm in dreamland. Okay, anyway, <laughs> it's so funny. I was super tired, but when I start talking, I get super hyper happy. But yeah, guys, I'm I'm proud of myself and I think that 2.4 was the thing that the thing that really helped me was the exercise. Um and it's to be honest, it's not like I was forcing myself to do so much exercise. It's just like I said in another video, when I start exercising, I just feel like I want to keep going sometimes. Sometimes I exercise and I'm like, okay, I got my hour, not hour, I got my half hour and that's enough. But sometimes I just feel like going and going. And I don't know what it was. It was like a surge or something this week. I just felt like going and going. And I exercise more than I've <laughs> exercised so far on Weight Watchers. So I'm so happy. I mean, Weight Watchers this time around. I'm so happy, guys. Oh, I'm excited. I'm proud of myself. And as always, I always like to say what we talked about in the week in the weekly, in the meetings, but this thing is called Weight Watchers Weekly, so I guess that's why I got all tongue-tied. And this week, it was all about weight loss myths, and it says weight loss myths busted, and it was talking about, like, um, you know, the different myths that are out there, like, you must cut out carbs, fat, and sugar to lose weight, or certain foods can speed your metabolism, or don't eat after certain hours like 6 p.m. at night and eating avocado will make your belly flat things like that like myths and um, I don't know we, in my meeting we just talked about you know which ones we believe which ones we didn't and how sometimes myths can drive you crazy in your your weight loss plan and I, I believe that thoroughly because I've I've been um, you know victim of lots of weight loss myths like you know I can't even give you examples just different things like oh don't eat, I don't know, this this certain food, or you can only eat, uh, well, you know what, I'm okay with the whole don't eat after a certain time of the day, but like my my Weight Watchers leader said, when, when people say that they don't want to eat after a certain hour of the day, sometimes that's just to help them so that they don't go overboard and nighttime snack, things like that, but you know, I fell prey also to a lot of myths out there, I can't, you guys know the myths out there, there's a lot, you come across them on here on YouTube, uh, Twitter, everywhere else, so it's like, you, you take it, or you, you take it and believe it, or you don't, and just, I guess the big point they're trying to make is just don't let the myths uh, sabotage your weight loss, and just stick to the plan, and then the plan 
they, they design it a certain way to help you lose weight. So just, you know, stick to the plan and you should see your reward, which is weight loss later. All right, guys. Oh, my gosh. My stomach is super growling. I really need to eat something. Um, I'm really not that hungry, but I should probably eat something. So I'll let you guys go. And yay, I'm excited. And I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the day, but I'm going to go through the rest of the day on a bunch of clouds floating because I'm happy. All right. Uh, love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.